Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another episode of Single Mom. My name is Shauna Marshall and we are back with episode number two. If you did not check out the episode number one, please make sure that you go ahead and watch that one first and then come back and watch this one or else this one will not make any sense. So let's get into it. Okay, we love we left off episode one. Amina was going to work. She is now back home. I changed her career outfit because the other one was just basically Max's match. And so I just changed it and add a little bit of CC to it. Over here, we have Miss Diane Kingston. Diane is Drew's mom. And if you don't know, Drew is Amina's ex. That's the man that she left. That's the man that she currently has two kids with. And she is pregnant with another. And it's all by him. Again, if you did not watch the first episode, please go and watch it. So you will know exactly why Amina decided to leave Drew. Anyway, we have Miss Diane. Diane is Drew's mom. She is just coming over to talk to Amina about the plan and the situation between Amina and Drew. Diane went over to Drew's house and pretty much came up with a game plan for them and the kids because Drew still wants to be in his kids' lives. So now Diane is going to come over and talk to Amina about it. And we're going to see if Amina agrees. Does she want Drew to be in her kids' life? I'm not sure but that is where we are now so we're just gonna have Miss Diane come over here and discuss the plans so let's go ahead and ask about the children and see how they're doing uh -huh. Mark Golfino Florib Essenoy Brainem Dubma and Amina and Jeff Diane, they have a really good relationship. Again, Mina up. never had a mother growing Torky. up. So she was extremely close to Diane. <laughs> Amina's like, I am a parent. Okay. Oh, Let's ask how Blue Amina is doing in money as well. And then we're just going to let them have a deep conversation. Honestly, I'm very poor. Oh my god. Okay, and in this conversation, we're just going to say that they're discussing the plans between Amina and Drew. <laughs> Looks like Amina is not going for it. She just basically walked away. I hit home. I did not mean to do that. Come back and sit down. Babe, Taina, get, get out the bathroom with your mama. Just come over here. The poor girls really don't have anything to do with their time. Okay, let's come back over here and come finish having this discussion. <laughs> Ask to leave? No. Okay, yeah. Let's continue having a deep conversation about this. Y'all really need to come to an understanding. And then Diane will go back and talk to Drew about it. Did you really have to go and sit uh, over Fleza. here? <laughs> Amina has learned that the following traits about Diana. She's family oriented. That's exactly why she wants y'all to get to get, get it together. You and Drew. Mm -hmm. Diana's like, listen, if it makes it easier, the kids can come and stay with me. Drew can come and visit them for a few hours. And then I can bring them back here. That way you guys do not have to communicate with each other or see each other if that's easier. I can cook for them. It'll just be a whole full day. I mean, it's like, I mean, everything sounds good, but I just don't know. I'm still trying to think about it. Hard dues, okay. Amina just doesn't know. She still doesn't know what she wants to do. Uh huh. You know what? Just Let's just let Amina think on it, okay? You just go ahead and go home. Let's just send her home, and then you'll be able to just think on it and figure it out what's 
Yes, I have to go feed my cow plant. I was okay. Oh, Chorg. I mean, uh, come on and cook for your kids. Serve dinner. Again, she doesn't have much money, so let's just do a salad for the girls. You're over here doing your homework. And again, once she get her money built up a little bit, we'll be able to like fix these holes in the walls. She's going to completely change the painting. She wants to redo the kitchen area. And hopefully all of this is done before she has her baby. Because I extended that pregnancy. I want her to be pregnant for a while. Just to give her time to really get everything together. Tyena, what are you? Oh, you're hungry. Okay, your mama's almost done. And then you're sleepy. Gonna put you to bed after this. And she still needs to get a potty chair. I did not do that. I keep forgetting. Okay, I'll do that. Anyway, Tiana, okay. You're done with your homework? Go ahead and go to the bathroom. No, go use it. Why don't you go and grab your plate? Oh, go ahead, go. And you don't need that. Are you hungry? You're not hungry. Okay. Let's have you. Maybe I should actually have her call Drew and see. Like, they need to have a conversation. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> he's like she's like yeah i can see that you sent your mom over here to discuss the girls why couldn't you just call me to discuss this you know i don't know if i want you around them anymore it's like this is a really big decision for me and it's going to take some time he's like yeah i understand and she's like yeah i don't have time she's just like i do not have time this is just such a big decision. And again, Tiana loves her mom. She's more so down with her mom because she's seen and she really understands what's been going on. Tiana, of course, is 100% daddy's girl. So, I mean, but she's a baby. She still doesn't understand what's going on. Who's calling you? Oh. Is wondering if I want to meet him someplace. Why are you going behind my back and texting my kid when I told you I need time? What? No. She's like, yeah, my mom, dad texted me. He wants me to meet him for karaoke. What is happening? What? <sighs> okay, well, Taina, baby. I don't even know what just happened to you. Why don't you go play? I don't really want you to go to sleep this early. Go play. Anyway, so now they're over here. I'm still controlling her. Let me stop controlling her. I completely forgot. Uh, oops, I meant to go to actions. She's like, yeah, I didn't want to go anywhere, Mom. I just wanted to let you know that he did text me and he wanted me to meet him. He's like, well, that's still your father. If he texts you, you need to respond. He's like, yeah, but you, he, you told him to give you some time. I'm like, I just don't understand. She's like, I know, but it's a lot to take in right now. Okay, let's have you clean that up. No. No, you don't have time. What? Okay, well, you got to do something to occupy your time, I guess. You don't have that much. No, you're not going to sleep yet. Come here and clean up. What else do the girls need? They just really need fun. Okay. Let's put that away. And then 
Does Taina need a bath? No, she's pretty good. Is he calling her again? Tiana, I just want two tickets to the San Michuno Theater sold out show. Want to go with me? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Her mom still says no. She needs time to figure this out. Okay, let's go and take a shower, Tiana. And plus, it's a school night at 8 o'clock at night, and he wants her to go somewhere. No. Okay, when you get done with that, let's go ahead and put Tyena to bed. Very sad. What does this say? I'm not ready for this pregnancy. Sometimes the torturous nature of being pregnant at a time when you don't want a child hits you like a train. End of relationship. I will just focus on the good memories. Girl, there barely wasn't any. Like, but I mean, I guess y'all did have some good memories. I mean, you've been with that man for a long time, so I get it. I get it. Anyway, let's go ahead and put Tyena to bed. She needs to go ahead and go. Let's get you some food. I don't know why you didn't eat earlier. And you just gonna change your clothes. Okay. You want it to feel cute. I get it. Can you go and put Tiny to the bed? Girl. Is it because she using her diaper? I really gotta get a potty. Cause she needs to be potty trained ASAP. Anyway, but as for the clothes, y'all see that they use, they have different clothes for each category, but that's just because they kept the clothes that they had. Again, Amina packed up their clothes. She packed up what she could, and she left. So she made sure to get them some clothes so they could, you know, have something to wear. Let's go ahead and get you something to eat. Just get you some leftovers because you put all the food up. Okay, Tiana, you've been outside. Now you need to definitely get in the shower before you go to sleep. It's 9 o'clock. So, let's get that going. I think maybe tomorrow we will have Amina meet with Drew. And they actually have a conversation together without the girls to figure out the next move that they want to make. And we're going to see how that goes. If he doesn't try to understand what Amina is saying and where Amina is coming from, then she's just going to be done. Of course, she's not going to keep the girls from Diana. She's not going to do that. But she's like, Drew, if you can't see things the way that I see it, then there is no point of us talking again. Okay, Tiana, go to sleep. Yeah, clean up. Thank you. All right, anyway, I'm going to let her go to the restroom. Then I'm going to let her get some sleep. And then I will pick back up in the morning when we get ready to meet with Drew. Okay, y'all. We actually had to wait until Amina got off of work to meet with Drew. But anyway, she's off of work. She sent the girls to daycare. Well, actually, she sent Tyena to daycare. Tiana is still at school. So she is in front of Drew's house. And we are just going to talk this thing out to see if we could come to an agreement on what's going to happen with the girls. Oh, Hopefully, yeah. he's home. Oh, good She does not want to be here. She looking good though. Come on in. Okay. So this is where Amina was living. She was living in this beautiful penthouse. I mean, they had everything that they ever wanted. Like this penthouse is absolutely gorgeous. They got the pool downstairs. You know, all of their houses is upstairs. This was actually their room. As you can see, Amina did just leave. She left her bag. That's her laptop that she left. She left that. Like, look at that view. That is just gorgeous. So she went from living in this gorgeous penthouse to living in what she's living in now. This place is just absolutely gorgeous. This is still the girl's room. He is not going to change a thing because he still wants them to come and visit and be with him. So this is their room. Okay, let's take control of Drew. Here is Mr. Drew. 
let's just take control of him so we can control this whole conversation and let's have you go downstairs she really does not want to go upstairs she just wants to come have this conversation and they both can be done you can sit there and we are just going to have Amina sit over here completely different sides girl come over here and sit down now you excited now you happy what come sit down why can can she not come in the door must be locked I think the door is locked yeah let's unlock that door there we go I feel like if they granted them access to come in that should automatically unlock the door but whatever oh she's like no I do not want to be here and he is walking get over here you're gonna sit down oh my god neither one of them wants to talk to each other she too busy always wanting to eat both of y'all are gonna have this conversation let me okay Amina you're gonna start yes he needs to be more open minded Fioba Darishi? Femoid. Oh. Oh. He's like, whatever. Jeff and Adiba Nahu. Benar Pelka. Ah, Berengaba. Check on Drew? No, we don't care. Dimis Somas. Uh, Unka Blashu. Skiba, you moob. Let's share some parenting tips. Like, this is what you're doing with the girls. And see if he agrees with you. These are the rules in order for the girls to calm. Drew is like, I really do not like this girl, but I'm trying my best to stay calm and have this conversation. He's like, listen, I don't like that. When the girls are here, I'm going to do what I want to do with them. That's it. They're like, well, then there's nothing else for us to discuss. Y'all. That... And you're not going to go and eat. And what are you doing? Dancing? No. No. No, no, no. If y'all want to be in here, fine. Y'all can sit down here. Would you stop one? I'm going to cheat her. I'm going to cheat her food, y'all. Like, she always wants to eat. Okay? Now, let's have him talk to her for a little bit. Like, I think that they both need to see. Speak thoughts to Amina. Yeah. Let's see. Tell her what you're thinking. Like, it's not fair. When the girls are with me, you should not have a say as to what I do and how I do it. Like, that's not right. I'm not saying anything that you took my kids away from me. And I'm sitting here trying to work it out with you. Amina's like, you know what? I'm done. You broke my heart. I mean, it's like, you know what? This just is not going to work. Maybe you need to just talk to your mom and she can be the middle person. She was like, you know what? That's the first thing you've agreed on in a very long time. Just drop the kids over at my mom's and have her pick them up and I will get them from her. Chorby Boomba. Because I never want to talk or see you again. I mean, it's like, you know what? I don't want to see you either. Oh, my God. I mean, you do not need to go upstairs. Let's just go home, girl. We need to just go home. It's clear that they are just not going to be on the same page right now. And that's fine. I mean, they've been through a lot. No, I'm not cheating anything. I want to stop controlling him. Let's just go, Amina. She's like, I'm just so over it. We are back home. Y'all see that that did not go well. They just cannot come to common terms. So basically what's going to happen, Diana is going to be in the middle of everything right now. The girls' first weekend with their dad is going to be tomorrow. So when Tiana gets back from school, Diana is just going to come and pick up the girls, take them to her house, and then Drew will come and pick them up from there. And then that'll also give Amina some time to really just get herself together, pick up some extra shifts so she could just make some more money. And then the girls will come back to her on Monday. So we're going to let Amina eat and then she and the girls are going to head over to Diana's place again 
I'll explain Diana's house once we get there because she's sort of living like Amina, but hers is more so by choice. But we'll yeah. talk more. I, look, Di I've been calling this woman Diana and it's Diane. I should know. I made up the n Anyway. All right, let's answer. Hey, Amina, I feel like trying something new and exciting, something like changing careers. What do you think? Yeah, I think you should try a new career. You should follow your heart. I don't think you should do it. I mean, you should follow your heart. But I called you, so I didn't have to decide myself. That's me. I'm so indecisive. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up. And let's get the girls and head on over to Diane's house. Okay, we are at Diane's house. Again, as you can see, she is sort of living like Amina. She is also in a mobile tr slash trailer home. But again, Diana's is by choice. Diana does not believe in living beyond her means. Her son definitely helps her out and give her money. But Diane is more so like, I keep calling her Diana. It's Diane, Shauna. It's Diane. Anyway. Diane feels that it's just her and then her grandkids come over every now and again so she doesn't need like this really huge house she just likes being out here by herself people leave, leave her alone she is in Strangerville so I mean she's a little strange but she still just likes to be left alone she takes care of her business she does what she needs to do but she feels that she does not need this glorious house or this amazing condo she's exactly satisfied with what she has so that is why she is living this way let's go ahead and knock on the door hopefully she's home we didn't drag these kids over here come on y'all need to go on over there so yes go in go in go in come taina why are you always the last one are you going okay okay so yeah this is her house i mean it is a mobile home but it is so nice it is so nice she is sitting here on her computer it's small but it's enough for her and then she got the kids room here for when they come over and spend the night with her and then you know, this is her room here. She got her little TV on the, on the wall. This is her bed. She has another computer here. So, I mean, and look, Tiana know exactly where to come. She goes straight to that TV. But anyway, Amina, we are here for a reason, girl. So let's have you sit down. We're also going to go ahead and take control of Miss Diane. Where is it? I swear I'll be losing it all the time. Okay. Amina, have a seat. No, you don't need to watch TV or do none of that. You just need to sit down and have a conversation. Ooh, I'm bored. And Diana's like, this baby still ain't potty trained. Amina's like, no, I can't afford it right now. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about... <laughs> Uh, what can we use? I don't think I'm going to use any of that. Let's go. What better babies got? Yeah, let's just talk about the babies. Anyway, I went over there to talk to your son. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when they get ready to head over to their grandma's house again. And then I think that... I mean, I may just go out and have some fun with her, with her girlfriend that she hasn't been out in a while. So I'll see you guys then. Hey y'all, my girl Amina was getting ready to get her girls ready to go over to Drew's house because you know this is her weekend to just get herself together, and she was actually getting ready to go out with her friend, which is this chick right here, Ashanti. But this text message just popped up. <clears throat> oh wait I'm sorry I didn't lost my voice because it is it's a hey Amina I've been thinking about getting to know Drew Kingston a little better do you think the two of us should hang out sometime like Ashanti has been Amina's best friend for a very long time this is what I was talking about in that very first episode when I said Ashanti was shady because she was always behind Amina's back trying to flirt with Drew but now she is just going to text her 
and be like, yo, is it cool for us to hang out? Uh, I'm sure they mean well. I vote yes. I've heard good things about them, so maybe. Usually, I think that meant usually I would say yes, but not this time. Like, I want it to be something else. Uh Like, how you going... And now Drew here to pick up the kids. See, and this is another thing. He also doesn't listen because Diane is supposed to be coming to pick up the kids. But you know what? Amina is just like, I'm over it. Take the kids. Have a good time. Because she's going to go and talk to Ashanti. So, okay, he got Tiana. And he got Taina. Okay, the babies are gone with their dad for the weekend. Let's have her change. And then my girl is in her second trimester. She don't have time for this. Let's change into our outfit. And we are about to go and visit Miss Ashanti. Yeah, we are here at Ashanti's house and we are about to see exactly what's been going on. My girl back is hurting. She ain't got time for this. Come on, let's knock on her door. As y'all can see, she is in her second trimester. She is just not feeling this. I hope it's the right door because I don't forget. Yeah, this is it. Anyway, this is Ashanti. Supposed to be her friend. We're going to find something. to. What did you want to do? Chat. Okay. We can chat with her. But I also want to know why. No. We ain't got time for hugging. No. No. No, no, no. Argue about petty bullshit. There we go. Like, how are you going to text me? Y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to get rid of this. Like, I don't know what my or what CC it is. If y'all know, can y'all leave a comment below and let me know? I'm still trying to get, like, I'm still trying to get this together. <laughs> but just ignore it for now until I get it fixed. Like, argue with her about the petty bullshit. Like, how is she going to text you asking if she can get with your ass? The father of your three children. Well, two children and one on the way. Let's go ahead and take control of her. Let's see exactly what she's been doing. Lash you. Or... Uh, what is this? I mean, it's like, I don't want to hear it. You know what I've been going through. You know what? This takes it back to when Amina was talking to Ashanti. And remember, she just got up and walked away. Now we know why. Now we know why. Amina ain't trying to hear it. Shout for Ben words at her. You're lucky we can't fight because we pregnant. Ashanti is really trying to get people to see her side. No, like, this ain't gonna work. For no! How can you go behind my back? I want to talk to the father of my kids. After you know how he treated us. No, y'all still need to argue about pity bullshit. Exactly. X her out. You see how she is now. Like, you see how she is. Insult her. Why, Bob? Uh, you ain't gonna talk to her later this way. Tell her off. Tell her off. Ashanti, there is nothing that you can say, girl. You was Amina's only friend at that. Amina don't have a lot of friends because you pretty much took everybody she knew away from her. Ashanti knew that. What? Exactly, Amina. Tell her you ain't trying to hear none of that bull. She was like, we were friends. My closest friend, my only friend. Ah. Nah, girl. We ain't done with you. I'm sorry. We ain't done. Mm -mm. Nah, we ain't done with her. Yell at her. Do something. We ain't done. Kumba, Boobni, Plevar. Sawata, Bima, Seneca, Belinda, Grinia. Shelma, y'all know. No, we done. Like, Brent event, exactly. Fina, we're done with her. 
Like, can we like end friendship? If not, we gonna end it ourselves because this is it. Throw a drink at her. We can't fight, but we could throw some at her. That's for sure. Like, throw it right in her face. Boom. That's what you get. Want to text me thinking I'm gonna be okay with that? You really thought I was gonna be okay? Would you text get texting at? See, I can't even talk. I'm so upset. Calling out for breaking the rules of friendship. You broke the rules of friendship. That's what you did. From Malspec Mopsy Vombo. And Ash Ashanti just does not care. Let's brush off. Just brush off. Right. We're over this. Yes, like, we're over it. it. It is what it is. We're over it. We're over it. Like, do they really not have nothing? Remove, blah, blah, blah. I don't want none of that. All these damn things I got on here. Yeah, I swear I don't be seeing stuff sometimes. Uh, now nah, we argue. You know what? I don't even care. We gonna argue about petty bullshit again. How about that? Wait, where y'all going? Wait, stop moving. Dang. It's hard enough for me for me to position y'all asses without y'all moving all the damn time. Stone. Tell her, Mina. Tell her. She was like, he's going to do you the exact same way he did me. He's going to do you the exact same way he did me. You see how abusive he was to me. Shanti is sitting there like, I'm nothing like you. I've always been the stronger woman than you. I mean, it's like, just how can you do this? How can you do this to me? Alone. Huh? Point out her flaws. Yes. Uh oh. This is ridiculous. Fina Ifel Im. Tell her you done. You're over it. And the bad part was, is these two are the ones that were supposed to be going out, getting Amina out of the house. And then she finds this out. Yeah, don't be smiling at her, Amina. Don't smile at her. Ask Ashanti, what exactly is your problem? Like, how could she do this to you? Shut, shut, shut up, Ashanti. Let us talk. Right. What? I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter over a few things that I'll get over, that I'll get over eventually, or not. That you, uh, that you'll get over eventually. Huda huda huda. So you want to date or are dating our ex, the father of our children, but you're feeling bitter. Something is wrong with this conversation. Amina, we do not have time for you to go to the bathroom right now. I'm sorry. I know you're pregnant, but you can hold it. Like, how is she going to say, uh, is she serious right now? Is she serious? Well, tell her that there is an issue because you broke the rules of our friendship. You're trying to go behind my back and date my man. Or my ex-man, I should say. <laughs> He's no longer our man, but it doesn't matter. That's the problem, Ashanti. 
Ashanti's like, look, y'all are over Kumba. with. Uh, I'm thinking, like, it doesn't matter. You see, I am pregnant with his <laughs> last child. Ashanti's like, I'm over it. You can go. What? You know what? Yeah, we're going to have Ashanti tell her to go away. Can we do that? Probably not since I control her. Well, we're going to pretend like Ashanti kicked her out. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to pretend like Ashanti kicked her out. Before I do so, I'm just going to stop controlling Ashanti because I don't feel like doing it later. I always do that, I swear. Uh, actions and don't control that Sims. Like, they friendship. Oh, my God. And it was so high, y'all. And now they're they're damn near enemies. It's okay. Oops, Let's just go home with me. me. Stop talking to yourself, baby. She go. Okay, so my girl is back home. Let's go ahead and take care of some of her needs. She just doesn't even know what to do with that situation with Ashanti anymore. All she knows is that she cannot afford to be stressed. She is just going to focus on herself, focus on getting this house together for her, her kids, and the new baby that's coming. And that's pretty much all she can do at this point. Like, she doesn't know if Drew feels the same way about Ashanti. She doesn't know if they have actually been trying to date behind her back. You know, she's not aware of any of this. But I think it is very important for her to have a conversation with Ashanti again. And maybe Drew, too. To see exactly what has been going on. No, Amina does not care about Drew in that way anymore. Aww. But her and Ashanti was best friends. And that was her only friend. But I think we just need to let Amina calm down. She's in her second trimester, so we don't need anything happening to the baby with her to, you know, get too upset. Anyway, guys, please make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I will be back next week with another episode of Single Mom. And we're going to see exactly how this plays out for Amina. Hopefully, my girl is able to recover from all of the betrayal that she has been going through right now. So I will see you guys next week with another episode. Bye. I was out of use. Now every day.